everybody and welcome back to my channel so today is going to be a video that I have been wanting to do for a very long time now it is a nude lipsticks for brown chicks video one of the biggest obstacles I ever had when I first started wearing makeup was finding the right shade of nude lipstick I was under the impression that nude lipsticks had to be beige or they had to just kind of blend in with your skin tone and then the more I got familiar with makeup the more I found that nude lipsticks just has to be something that is a neutral color and something that goes well with your skin tone so I went through my collection and picked out a few lipsticks that I knew worked well with brown skin tone now, some of them are going to have more of a peachy undertone like the one i'm wearing today some of them are going to have more of a pink undertone brown undertone beige undertone um i have a healthy variety here and a plethora of different ones to pick from i also have some drugstore and some high-end ones for um, everybody's budget so um let's get right into the video i'm gonna be applying most of my lipsticks with a reddish brown lip liner i just found that those lip liners work best on um more of a brown skin tone so let's start with what i have on my lips right now i am wearing um the buxom lip foundations the true nude lip foundation these are a pretty new product i really do like them um it's just a very nice type of peachy undertone nude color they have different colors so if you are a light-skinned woman also, there are different colors that you can choose from. This is the darkest one in Bare, and I thought this was the one that worked best for me. This is a matte like lip pencil, and it they say it's a lip foundation, and literally it covers your lips just like a foundation. So it's super full coverage on the lips, and it looks really pretty, and I have really, really, really enjoyed wearing this. Okay, so this next one I'm going to show you guys is the Wet n Wild one, and this is really inexpensive from the drugstore, and it's in color 902C Buried All. This one is a little bit creamier than the previous box, but I hope you guys can see that with a lip liner, it actually looks pretty good, and I hope you guys can see how well the lip liner is actually blending in with the lipstick, and it's helping it kind of look better, because this one is a bit more on the beige side of things. So um, this is another favorite one of mine and anybody who is much lighter than me to somebody who is much darker than me can wear this depending on what kind of lip liner that they use. I would say the deeper your skin tone is, the deeper you should go with your lip liner. So this next lipstick I'm going to show you guys is an actual limited edition and I'm sorry that it is limited edition you can't get it anymore. Um, but I think I have another lipstick in this video that's very close to this one. This one is um, from the Bad Girl Riri, from the Rihanna collection from MAC. And this one is called Bad Gal Riri and it's a matte finish. This is a very, very pretty sort of like salmon-y, pinky nude color. I absolutely adore this lipstick. It's just gorgeous. This next lipstick I'm going to show you guys is a cream finish. It is by Revlon and it's in 671 Mink. Um, this is a drugstore one. It's very, very moisturizing on the lips. I do prefer matte, but this one has such a full coverage that I don't mind. You can also wear this one with a lip liner, but I feel like it's just one of those nudes that I don't really need a lip liner with. Um, it's just one of those rare colors that I can just pop on and be on my way. So this one again is uh, 671 Mink by Revlon. So this next lipstick I'm going to show you guys is again, I'm sorry, a limited edition color. It's from the MAC uh, Alluring Aquatic um, line but you guys can see the wet and wild one is pretty close to this one they both have kind of a beige undertone to them and they're kind of those nudes that are very kind of hard to wear you will need a lip liner with these um this is a matte finish and then the um wet and wild one is a cream finish i believe it feels more creamy on the lips than this one um but i hope that just to kind of show you guys what a beige nude might look like on mac does have some colors in their uh, current collection that are close to this um so yeah this is another color that um you would definitely need a lip liner with and this again is Enchanted one from the Alluring. So this next lipstick is again a wet and wild color and this is in 914C. 
Now this one is a creamier texture. I think this is supposed to be matte, but they feel super creamy on the lips and they do transfer. And um, this one is gonna be more of a deeper nude, more of a brown nude. So if you are um, really, really of a deeper skin tone, I'm talking maybe NW55 or lower, this is the perfect nude for you. It has more brown in it. You don't need that lip liner to wear. It's very easy to wear. I mean, I don't even need a lip liner to wear and I think it still looks pretty great, which I really like. I think it's really nice. So this again is a wet and wild color and this is in 914C. So this next color is a one of my favorites. I am really in love with the liquid lipstick textures because they just stay on and they grip onto your lips and they don't go anywhere. I'm not sure why I consider this color a nude color, um, but I feel like it looks pink until it dries on my lips and it dries to like a nudish pink color. Um, it's a nude to me. I mean, it might not be a nude to everybody, but to me, this is a great nude for women of color. If you like a nude that has more of a pink undertone to it. This is Patina. Uh, from the Stella Stay All Day Liquid Lipsticks. These are amazing. They do not transfer. Once they're on your lips, um, the only thing that gets them off is a greasy burger. Like, I'm serious. These stay on your lips forever. It looks um, very nice. You just have to make sure that your lips are exfoliated before you put this on because it does accentuate any dryness that you might have on your lips. But this is absolutely one of my favorite ones. And I think it's just absolutely gorgeous, gorgeous on women of color. I especially like this one for brides or for special events. It looks really, really, really pretty. Okay, so we are down to the last, last lipstick I'm gonna show you guys. This is from the brand Milani. With this one, I also do not need a lip liner. It looks great without a lip liner if you are a brown girl. Um, I love the way it feels on my lips. It's very moisturizing. It is a cream finish, I believe. Um, it just goes on really easily and all the lipsticks that I show you guys pretty much go on opaque There's not really one that goes on sheer because I think uh, when you're a woman of color and you have pigmented lips Pigmented lips you need something that will go on opaque and cover the actual color of your lips So I actually really do like this lipstick and this is in color teddy bear so I hope you guys enjoyed all the lipsticks I shared with you guys. Let me know down below what your favorite nude is or what favorite nude you had in this video. I'm always interested to know if there's maybe a nude that I don't know about. I've been really into nude lately. I don't know why. So I hope it... I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Give it a thumbs up if you like it. Make sure to share it with other women. Uh, we are always looking for that nice nude lipstick. So don't keep this video to yourself. Share it with anybody you might think might find it helpful. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoy it. And I will see you guys in my next video.